How can you tell the time from the sun? My name is Matt Kala. I'm one of two brothers who run the Kala Pocket Instruments company. So the story how we came to the sundial, my dad met his friends on a Sunday morning at the pub. One of his friends pulled out a little metal ring and that friend said, guess what it is. And so everyone looked at each other and like guessed. And the right answer ultimately came out. It was like a sundial, a little pocket ring. And my dad was fascinated. He always had a great passion about not just craftsmanship, but also about the old days and stone age. And so he was fascinated. And so my dad said, may I borrow it? May you lend it to me? And so the friend agreed to that. And so he asked his brother-in-law to kind of copy that for him, which he did. So he had his own little sundial. And so this fascination started based on this trip to the pub on a random Sunday afternoon. My dad loved this little instrument so much. He kept it in his shirt pocket whenever he was traveling. So in Milan, he took the sundial out and he noticed that there's a time variation. The sundial was no longer accurate. Luckily, there was a maritime museum not too far away. He went there and whilst at the museum, he randomly met a curator at the museum who had deep knowledge about scientific instruments. Turns out this little ring was a farmer's ring, which only works on one particular location. We later found out that there's a different sundial which works on multiple latitudes. It's called the universal ring sundial. What if we use this universal ring sundial, which is about, as I said, 10 inches in diameter and reduce it in a pocket format? And that idea never left my dad. Our workshop is located in Styria, which is in the south of Austria. And Close to our family home, we have a big garden with a little garden house, and we figured this would be the perfect home for our workshop. So we partnered with an engineer to help us design a perfect setup to meet our highest quality standards. That was the beginning of the Color Pocket Sundial. In order to operate the sundial, you need to follow three simple steps. Step one, you set the right latitude, so the sundial knows where on the world we are. Step two, you set the right date. In order to make this easy, we printed the letters of each month on the bridge. And finally, step three, flip the two brass rings into each other, hold your sundial on the little black string and slowly, slowly spin it until a light beam can make its way through the black slider and project a light point on the inner ring of your sundial. This gives you the real time the number one question we have received from our customers was, what should we do at night when the sundial doesn't work? So we did our research and we came across the Nocturnal. Similar, the original version is much larger and we wanted to scale it down to pocket format. Once you've removed the Nocturnal from its packaging, three steps are required to read the time at night. Step one, you set the right date. You move the middle disk to the right month and day on the outside disc. Step two, you look at the night sky and try to find Polaris, the brightest star in the Northern Hemisphere. Once you have it, simply look through the hole in the middle of the disc and point it to Polaris. Step three, you're looking for Kochab, which is the second brightest star in the asterism of the Little Dipper. Point your instrument, the little hole to Polaris and align the hand on the side with Kocher. Once done, take your nocturnal down and read the time on the inner scale. We appreciate that our pocket instruments are no replacement for the conveniences of modern life. But we see it as a special gift which enables you to take a break, step out and experience the magic of real time.